Hey, welcome back in. It's a Monday. Feed Your Family Tonight founder Marie Thiebach joins us this morning. Marie, how are you doing? Oh, Allison, I'm doing so well. It's kind of a bright, sunny morning. Right. And, you know, spring is almost here, and I have just been itching for something bright and cheery. And so I've had in my head this idea for an orange salad dressing. Okay. And so I'm going to make it today. And it's interesting. I tested a lot of different things, and I wanted to start with a fresh orange, and I found that the zest was too bitter and the orange juice was too thin. And so what I have come up with is using orange juice concentrate. So you get this in the freezer aisle, um, often by the breakfast or the frozen fruits, and it's just orange juice concentrate, and it's two tablespoons of that. And you can easily make this recipe bigger if you're making it for a crowd, but um, it's simple proportions. So two tablespoons of this orange juice concentrate, and then use lemon juice and I have tried different vinegars and I found that the lemon juice adds the right level of acidity and brightness, but it doesn't mute the flavors of the orange too much. And so I find that the lemon juice works really, really well for this. Nice, nice bright citrusy, like you said, great for this spring-like weather that we're feeling right now? That's just it. And then again, it's same proportions, two tablespoons of lemon juice. And again, it takes just about one lemon to get two tablespoons of lemon juice. And then we're going to add a half a teaspoon of coarse sea salt. And again, I really like that coarse sea salt. If you're using table salt, use just a little less. And a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Okay. And then the last ingredient is olive oil. And again, same thing, two tablespoons. So equal parts, orange juice concentrate, lemon juice and olive oil if you're trying to make this a larger batch. What kind of olive oil do you use? Do you go with the extra virgin or do you use the lighter flavor? Does it matter? Um, it does matter. For this, I use extra virgin. Okay. I have tried different oils. And extra virgin olive oil, again, is a lot fuller flavor. When you're making salad dressings, that's the time to use your expensive olive oil. You, wouldn't, you don't use expensive olive oil for cooking, but when you're making salad dressings, that's when you're going to bring out your best quality olive oil. Okay. Because you're gonna taste it, it's not gonna be cooked. And so that's when you wanna use your fanciest olive oil that you have in your jar. And then this all just goes into a mason jar and you shake it. And so easy. Right, and I like to shake it until that salt is dissolved. So it's gonna take a little bit longer than you think because you wanna make sure that all that salt gets dissolved. And then you just dress it on a salad. And I wanna give you a couple of hints about this particular version. You can put this on any salad that you want, but I find if you have something a little bit crunchy, a little bit chewy and a little bit sweet with the bitter greens, it balances out really well. And my little trick for this is to buy the little kid snack packs of the mandarin oranges. It's usually just enough to dress two or three salads so you're not opening a big can. And so I like to have these little snack packs on hand. And then I put some craisins in for some chew and some toasted nuts that I toasted in the microwave to get you a little bit of crunch. And that's how you get this perfect balance of brightness, chewy, perfect for almost spring, right? Don't we just want it to be oh, here? Yes, and we just want something that is kind of clean tasting and not so heavy. We've had a whole winter of all these heavy foods. Now we're looking for these light and crisp salads. That's, That's perfect. it. And That's so it. easy. Right. It comes together in just minutes. And again, you can make it in larger proportions. But I find that this works well for, you know, four or five salads for me for the week. And then I can make a new batch the next week. And it, it's fun and bright. And just I feel like it's getting me to spring. Yes. And speaking of fun and bright, too, talking about uh, your Instagram story, this was kind of a trial and error recipe that you had, and it was so nice to see you be so lighthearted about the process when it comes to creating these recipes that we get to enjoy. Well, you know, that's just it. Sometimes recipes come together really quickly, and sometimes they take a long time. I had on my Insta story yesterday, and it's probably still up if you follow me at Marie Feebach. It's still up for a few more hours today. But basically, I had a quart jar full of mistakes mm -hmm. because I tried fresh oranges, I tried different oils, I tried different vinegars, and as they didn't taste just right, I just kept dumping it into a jar. And I joked, I said, I'm not gonna let it go to waste. I will probably use it to marinate my chicken. And if you are at home and you're trying recipes and you find that something doesn't quite work, it's okay to eat something that isn't perfect. That's the first thing is it's okay to eat your mistakes. But the other thing is that know that sometimes you just have to tweak one thing or another to make it work for you. And that's okay too. And again, I try my hardest to make your recipes so that you can just make them straight out and there's no tweaking needed. But if you're trying other recipes, just know that 
mistakes happen and it happens to all of us. That's fantastic. A mistake like I had this morning of eating my whole <laughs> sleeve of Thin Mints. So I'm going to need to be eating this salad and that salad dressing for lunch today. But Marie, thank you so much. We appreciate it that you do all this work to share your recipes with us. Oh, Marie Allison, Brickler. it's my pleasure. Thank you so much. Let's take a look at how you can see this recipe and so much more at FeedYourFamilyTonight.com. Follow her on Instagram. Also find her Facebook group, uh, Feed Your Family Tonight. That's where you can get so much inspiration if you're kind of in a rut on what to cook, especially as we're uh, changing into seasons and we want some lighter foods and just different ideas. Marie, we'll see you next on uh, next Monday. Perfect. Thanks, Allison. All right, we'll be right back after this. Keep it here.